Yo guys, what is up? A lot of you have been asking me down in the comments section and on Discord, how can you get Stain? I don't know how to get him. How do I get him? So today's video, I'm going to show you how to get him. I'm going to show you a run through of, you know, the Stain raid, how I do it. Uh, we had five people to do it with. I'm recording this after because I forgot to record an intro. My bad. Uh, I'm going to show you how we do it with five people and going to give you some tips and tricks on how to do it successfully. Now guys, the Stain Raid has actually been nerfed since it was first dropped. It's been nerfed by like half health, like the units now have half the health they used to have. So instead of spawning with 400k, they spawn with 200k. And in order to get Stain, you want to come over to the Raid section and do the Hero City Hero Slayer stage. He is a 1% chance drop here, as you can see. Or if you do 15, you get him guaranteed, guys. So the way I got him is I've done 15 raids. I recommend you guys do that too, because even if you do get one, at least you can get a second one. Yo, so I just logged on and I was thinking about, hmm, what am I going to record today? And then all of a sudden, these guys are like, yo, we're fans, we're subbed. Yo, you guys, you guys are so awesome. Thank you all so much for the support. If you see me in game, make sure to say hi because I love it, guys. I love saying hi back. Just, you know, I don't know, just chilling. Okay, all right, guys, we're going to try and do this with five people. Uh, we did want six, but there wasn't anyone in the Discord who wanted to do the stain raids, unfortunately. So we just have five. Uh, I don't think any of us have unique, apart from Mike might have a unique Gear Toro, but I don't think that's going to make too much of a difference, to be honest. So we uh, we had a previous attempt of this, guys, with four players, and usually when you do the stain raid, the ideal spot is to place around here, right? So one of my people from my Discord went, you know what, I'm going to place over here. You know what, I'm feeling kind of different today. Let me place right here. Which did not make sense. And I was like, if you do that again, I I quit. I quit. I cannot sit there and watch that happen. <laughs> it was a violation. My man has two golden farms. How do you even get that lucky? Or, you know, that rich with flipping star remnants? I do not even know, man. I ain't even got one golden farm. That might be because I'm spending my star remnants on my main units. But, guys... Guys, I promise you it will pay off. One day I'll be recording, spending my Star Remnants on my Mythics, and I will get unique from Star Remnants. It happens to everyone. It's my turn. So I think the most important thing about this raid now, guys, is you do need that slow still. Just slow, ideally a lore to help with the final boss. But yeah, slows are basically a must need. We have a, we have a law here. As long as you have one person with a law, one person with a slow on your team, you should be fine. Yeah, I just wanted to do this in a video because um, not a lot of people know that the Stain Raid got nerfed. These guys used to start with 400k health and now they only have 204k. I mean, these guys here have 430k, but like they used to have like 800k. Everything's been nerfed by like half. So it's a lot easier now to do it. It's still pretty hard. I'm not going to lie, guys. You still probably need a team of six with buffs, slows and, you know, decent units. Not unique but decent traits as well uh but it's so much easier and i will be helping people out in my discord do uh with this stain raid so then everyone can get stain because he is he is powerful guys i love stain so much in the anime i say this all the time and as a unit he is super strong and you know i don't know i just think he's kind of a must have now for those who don't have him you guys are really really missing out Yo guys, I just want to say thank you so much for 2k subscribers. Now we're going to be on the road to 5k and for 5k subs, I'm thinking we do a big giveaway, a big live stream. We have the giveaways done live where I'm like, yo, oh, yo, what's up? Yeah, you won this. Boom. And then you get it instantly on the live stream. There's no like claim time, no discord server or anything, just live. Uh, it is a shame that I placed my stain in this spot because I think his range with Divine is going to be super useful here. But the damage buff is all the way over here. So he's not actually getting the all win damage buff. But uh, hopefully he should get that Griffin damage buff. I feel like we are missing out on a big opportunity here. Doesn't matter too much. I think we'll be fine, to be honest. I have yet to get a golden. And like everyone in this lobby has at least one golden. How? Well, I say that. Only two people have golden. But still... Where's my golden? I want a golden right now. Oh yeah, I should place down my Oshi. But she's going to play that really annoying music. So I'm going to place her all the way in the corner of the map. So I don't have to hear her. Yeah, that's what I thought, Oshi. That's what I thought. These guys think I'm battling for first place, man. If you battle for first place, that's kind of weird. I'm not going to lie. 
I just want to make sure that I can win. You know, like, I just want us to win in general. I ain't going for that first place. If I was going for this first place, I would have sold my stain, put him right here, right in the middle of that buff, and it would have been easy for me. I will give Stain a cheeky little upgrade here just because it looks like uh, they might be getting through a tiny bit. It's a shame that no one has guts. And I just realized no one here has air. Oh, Fuji has just been placed down. But that is a very weak Fuji. I'm not going to lie. 100% buff. Oh, wait, no. I thought it was 6k. It's, it's 60k. Okay, that Fuji should be fine. Hopefully. Uh, it's not going to take out this winged Nomu, though. We kind of need to upgrade a Metal Knight or something. Harry Bo is there. Yeah. We might be able to do with it. I don't know. This one... I said uh, unique uh, Gitoro won't do much. But he's currently sitting at the top of the leaderboard with double my damage. Which kind of invalidates my point. But to be honest, I think even with a normal Gitoro would be fine. It's mainly this uh, buff that is buffing Gitoro so much. Yeah, like 100% buff on any unit is just kind of crazy, guys. You guys really need to start doing this 100% buff. If you're not doing it already, you're missing out on so much power. And now we've got... The Griffin buff down as well, which makes it even crazier. If you guys don't know how to do it, I can make a tutorial on that. Just let me know down in the comments. But uh, it's it's actually not too complicated. The hardest bit is getting a... Uh, you need a correct debuff. Like, you need a really specific debuff in a specific range. I think it's like minus 4.9 to minus 7.6 uh, on your SPA, like as a negative. So as you can see, the start is quite like tight. Like at the start, it's really hard. But once you get to this point in the game, it, it's just, it just gets a way, way easier. You can sit back and relax at this point. Once you've got that Griffin buff up, the 100% buff up on your units, it's, yeah. I need some more stains to widen the area of my bleed right now. The bleed is not. I need all of them to be bleeding. Boom. Oh yeah, I love it. When when stain activates that ability, if you like look at the leaderboard or how much damage he does, it literally jumps up. I'll show you guys in a second. It looks so sick when it does it. And remember guys, this is him without the 100% buff. So he's a very useful unit to have. Yeah, I mean, look, when they're all bleeding and they're in his range, they will just all basically instantly die. Look at the leaderboard. Ready, 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 ready. Wait for it. Wait for them to all bleed. Okay, ready? Boom. I just jumped up by like 20 million damage. You seen a unit that can do that much burst damage? I think not. We can get some more of those bad boys up as well. Yeah, we're kind of blitzing it right now. This one's about to get blood curdle. There's another jumping damage. Yeah, I was going to do this without stain. I was going to bring a whole different team. Uh, I was, if I was to bring a different team, I'd be either bring Sembodu or Mami. And then use um, like Metal Knight and Mami as my main damage. Because these guys take a lot more light and storm damage, guys. You need to play to the elements just like a tournament. So if they're taking more damage of a specific type, you got to place down that damage type. And then plus 100%... Griffin buff plus 100% Orwin or Wender buff. And these guys are going to take 300% more damage. 350% more damage for Storm. And it's just going to go crazy. I mean, look at that. Look at that. The damage is crazy on Stain, guys. He's not even 100% damage buffed. So we place down a few powers to make him bleed more. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Look, guys, this is why you need Stain. If you can get him, please do not hold back on that grind. And once you get him, all he takes is SAO uh, Legend Stage stuff. So you just got to do that loads, and then you'll be fine. Get our final Stain up to hopefully Blood Curdle. And the fact that he stuns on top of this is crazy. Like, seriously, guys, this is just some madness. You need Stain. If you do not have Stain right now, you need him. Speaking of the devil, we're going to turn all of our guys off auto. And we're going to get ready for a mass attack on this man. He is not getting through. If you get guts with him as well, or Unohana, when they go full AoE, because they bleed air, they make him hit air as well. And now it's happening. Look, boom. A little chunk of damage there. Boom. A little chunk of damage there. And boom. Another chunk of damage there. Now they're all on auto, so they could... So they shall just keep attacking him. We're going to put an Amelia slow down here just to slow him down a little bit. If you have a time stop as well, that would be amazing. So law, time stop, slow. This guy is still chunky. He's at 70 million health, but he used to be at 150 million. So he is way more beatable right now. Uh, you just got to take him down slowly, guys. You know, don't expect to blitz this boss down. 
but he's slow. He's not too fast. So you get those slows down, you know, Charmy, uh, Yoshina, then get your Law, your Time Stop, which is like your Homura, your Gojo. I mean, look at this, guys. It's just, it's just over. It's over. He's not getting past. He takes 200% more lightning damage, 200% more light damage. So remember that as well, guys, if you want to beat him easily. And there we go, guys. He is dead. Let's see. Do we get Stain? No, we do not. If we got a shiny stain, that would have been nice, but we did not. Okay, guys, so we were going to do more attempts, but one of our players left. Uh, things kept going wrong, and now people have to go. Uh, so there's only one attempt to show you, but if there's anything you take away from this video... <clears throat> but if there's anything that you can take away from this video, it's the stain raid is possible. Just need support. The stain raid is a very support-heavy raid. You won't be able to do it just by blitzing it with damage. You'll need that slow. You'll need that time stop. I keep saying it, but I just need you guys like to understand. If you want to get Stain, it's possible. Don't just give up. Yo, guys, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the YouTube supporters, the YouTube members. Uh, so thank you so much, Damien, Bro Moment, Fearless, and Stop Stalking, aka Mike, for the YouTube membership. You guys are awesome, going above and beyond. Thank you so much. I love you all.